Hey everyone, okay, I have the boot that I had my eye on. Um, if you read the title in the description, you already know what it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is my first non-Red Wing boot purchase in quite a long time, at least guaranteed five years. Um, so yeah, that's a long time of just buying Red Wing boots. And so, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, also, this would be <laughs> this would be proof to anyone who uh, any of the doubters that I'm not sponsored by Red Wing <laughs> because I have so many and I, I really love them. Um, this would be proof that I'm not sponsored <laughs> by them. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, without further ado, here we have. <sighs> there it is, the Lucchese in this box. Um, I, I know it, uh, people um, pronounce it uh, Lucchese, especially down south in Texas, they call it Lucchese. Uh, Lucchese is uh, uh, the pronunciation, uh, il parlo italiano è pronunciato è Lucchese. Capisci? <laughs> Although, uh, it's a, I shouldn't say that because I do say vibram when it's vibram. Uh, so, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, so here. Uh, in this box, we have uh, the uh, Lucchese, um, the Lincoln Roper. Comes in this uh, beautiful box here with the paper. And then it comes in a bag. And I hope anyone who purchases um, a boot and it comes in a bag like this, that you don't put it back in the bag because uh, the leather needs to breathe and you shouldn't put your boot in plastic. Like when you get dry cleaning, if you have your leather jacket, or something in plastic, remove it. It needs to breathe, baby. But these are impressive. Um, the, wow. So, mm, they smell good too. Ooh. So, um, as you know, oh, I should tell you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing uh, the 8189 uh, Pecos, um, Red Wing Pecos. Um, I actually, I don't know what the, it's a rough out, but I'm not sure, quite sure what the, what they call the leather, to be honest with you. Um, but uh, I'm wearing that and maybe the next video will be a comparison of the uh, Lucchese uh, Roper versus the Red Wing Pecos. It could be interesting, right? Okay, so um, I've become a huge fan of the Roper. Um, so that's why the... Uh, non red ring boot I purchased was or is this uh, Lucchese Roper. And so Lucchese uh, has been around for a very long time. 1883 is when they were founded in San Antonio, Texas. And the Roper um, is, it, it bridges the gap between a full on Western boot, like you would, what we would normally call a cowboy boot um, and a dress boot. So that's the appeal to me. I don't really need that uh, high heel nor that really pointy toe although you can do a western boot uh, with uh, a round toe but um, stereotypically and also the detail on the toe I, I don't really need that um, for what I like to or how I like to wear the boots also living in New York City walking around in a cowboy boot for me I wouldn't be comfortable with it um, but to each his own um, so for me, that is the great appeal um, to uh, the, the Roper. So the Roper um, originated um, in the rodeo, and um, it has a shorter heel, um, I guess for um, movement. And um, from that, it just evolved um, uh, to just like a, a casual uh, cowboy boot. The Roper has more of a... Uh, shoe kind of fit and uh, one of the greater appeals to me is the easy on easy off it has a medium round toe with a nice walking heel since i do a great deal of walking around the city so the reason i chose uh, this particular colorway uh, this uh, suede green or they call it um, olive sorry they call this the olive um, and this is the lincoln roper uh, the reason i chose this particular boot um, is because Red Wing makes a boot called the 8177, 
uh, or made a boot called the 8177, I believe, which was released in Japan. To me, it looks like a green, uh, it is a Pecos. It looks like a, um, a rough out green Pecos, which I think the only way I would ever be able to find it is if I were to fly to Japan and find it uh, probably secondhand. So that's what attracted me to these because of all the Pecos, you know I have many of them. Um, pretty much, I'm trying to get all of them. Um, <laughs> I do have a great deal. Um, I wanted the rough out green, couldn't get it. So um, th that's what attracted me to this olive uh, Lincoln Roper. Um, and it's quite attractive. I, I, what I've done with my um, Pecos that come with the um, traction tread is I uh, replaced them with cork or I've done the chemi gum with the heel. But I really like the leather sole on these and then the stack heel, um, which to me is it's very appealing. Um, I, I would, I would definitely do that with some of my, my boots that I uh, already own. I would just take them to a cobbler and do the same thing. Maybe the, the leather heel or the leather um, sole, maybe uh, not so much because it is quite slippery, um, but it is very attractive. And I am digging this. This color is stunning, and I have to tell you, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> funny thing. Um, uh, the old lady saw these and she said, I really like these boots. And as you know, I have probably at this point hundreds, uh, if not very close to hundreds, um, or a hundred, it, there, I have a lot of boots now. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, and she's like, I like these. These are the first boots that I actually like. <laughs> and I've been, I've been wearing engineers lately and, uh, I don't know why she doesn't like my Pecos. What's that? I don't know what's up with that, but um, she, she really liked these. And so it got the approval from my old lady. Um, but I'll tell you what about these. Um, this slimmer profile in here, it does give it a dressier vibe. I do, I do, uh, that's probably why she liked it, giving it that dressier vibe. And the, the shaft is quite narrow as well. Um, and. We'll go into greater detail, but yeah, I can tell that these, yeah, really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to, to wear these. And they smell really good. All right, let's take a closer look at the Lucchese Lincoln Roper. Okay, so here is a closer look at the uh, Lucchese Roper in the olive. So the Lincoln Roper is made of a soft um, frontier suede that uh, offers style. Um, the Roper silhouette offers a lower heel and a shorter shaft than the traditional um, Western style and is stonewashed now for uh, relaxed um, character and comfort with um, a full single stitch welt construction. It has the leather sole and these are uh, handmade in Texas. Now this is a 10 inch uh, suede with a one inch heel height. Okay. Okay. So what stonewashed means and what kind of threw me off when I uh, took these out and looked at them is you see how there's kind of like marks along here and on the sole. Let's go, let's get closer detail here. <clears throat> so you see the sole, it looks like the leather sole has been already used and walked on concrete and rocks. And also here on the heel, you see the marks all along here. And so when I looked at them, I thought, when I saw that, I thought, these are used boots. Someone tried these on, wore them, and returned them, and then now I'm getting them. <laughs> I was kind of like turned off a bit about the whole situation. But actually, what stonewashing means, okay? So stonewashing is a technique used to distress the materials. So what they do 
uh, they want to give it that worn out look. So once they build a pair of boots, um, right down to how they say the hand painted soles and they are tumbled in a large um, clothes dryer with pumice stones. <laughs> okay. So that's why, so afterwards the, uh, the boots are clean and finished, but they still retain all the nicks and scuffs uh, that lend to the rugged character of the boot. So that's why when you pull them out of the box brand new, they have all these nicks. It's a little kind of like, okay, I'm spending, these boots were $500. So the, uh, two, 200 or so more than the average red wing boot that I, that I purchased. So <laughs> if you're spending that much on a boot and then it comes with these nicks, you're kind of like, uh, um, <laughs> but, uh, I tell you, it, it, you, there's, there's good and uh, plus and minuses to that. The plus is that when you walk out the, you know, uh, my door or whatever, um, it's going to be like, okay, um, there's already Nixon, you know, on the leather. So, so you're like, okay, whatever it happens, it's going to happen. I have had shoes where you're kind of like walking and you're like, I don't really want to scuff too much cause I really like these. So it's already there. So you're like, okay. Uh, the minus is these are $500 brand new boots and I got scuffs. <laughs> you're like, what the hell, man? Um, but, um, yeah, that's, I, 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 uh, I can understand where they're coming from. <laughs> it's cool. All right. So these are leather lined, which is really nice. I can feel that, um, soft leather all the way through, which is very comfortable. Um, I know, man, look at that's so really soft. It's just lovely, the loveliness. Uh, there is some structure here on the toe, I feel. Um, and then this is just kind of that very soft, supple feel. Um, being that these are leather soles, so I've had um, a pair of suede uh, lace-up boots from uh, All Saints that I purchased a while ago and they had a uh, leather sole. And I'll tell you, riding on a motorcycle with a leather sole when you're trying to park and pull your bike in or out, it's very slippery. So these, um, uh, there, there are a plus and minuses to having a leather sole. And, and so um, um, I, when I um, put these on eventually, I, I'll give a full um, critique, but I, I just know from past that um, they can be, um, um, quite slippery, but, um, they look good. <laughs> um, the other thing that I wanted to say is having these in hand after kind of like obsessing on the, the web and, and have So the, the website, it's hard to tell the colors. Um, so I wish there was a store here in New York city where I can go in and actually see the colors because I, I have to say the lighting maybe is not the greatest on the website. Um, I'm very happy with the olive. It kind of, in this light, looking at the monitor, it does kind of like have a grayish kind of um, in this lighting, but um, it is a, a nice dark green uh, color, which um, I do, I do in, um, really like. And I will have to spray these um, before. I, I know that they recommend their spray for suede, but I have a, a spray that I use. Um, that I put on my red wing boots. So I'm going to spray these, which it probably will darken them slightly, but that's okay. Um, having these in hand though, uh, this will not be my last pair of, uh, Lucchese ropers. Um, I have my eye on at least three other pairs that I definitely want. Um, so, uh, they're just expensive. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a little bit more than my, the Red Wing purchases uh, that I've made, but um, I think these are uh, stunning, and um, I will definitely be um, buying more pairs. <laughs> As you guys know, how I get a little obsessive about that, I will definitely be buying more pairs of these, and um, I uh, yeah, I'm very happy with them. I I. I will put these to the test and um, for like the quality, wear the hell out of them, beat them up um, and probably hope I will give a, a, a follow-up review. Um, but um, 
just having these in hand and feeling the quality and and they're quite light too the the only heavy you feel the heel being you know the the heavy part but up here is quite quite light and this is very um malleable so it's look at that um so um very pleased so far these will probably be uh one of the easier uh boots to style and i'm very excited for that did somebody say date night <laughs> all right let's do the on feet okay here we go with the lincoln on feet and these feel really really nice that um, much thinner, that leather line uh, makes the boot quite comfortable. Uh, the leather sole uh, definitely is going to slip. I, I definitely feel that. But um, the slimmer profile, I think they look really, really good. Um, they, also, they come off like a Chelsea. So if you didn't know any better, and if you weren't looking at the shaft, uh, on the jean, if your jean was a certain um, cut, uh, it would just look like a Chelsea boot. So it gives that really nice slim profile. Um, I'm wearing um, salvage denim from Tenu Janim. Uh, these are an over dye with like a green cast on them. So uh, this is a Pablo fit. So um, as these jeans will age, they will kind of get like a green kind of hue to them according to Tenu Janim. Um, so I think they look really good with these, with these, uh, ropers. Um, now to the important thing, if you walk into a bar wearing these, you're not leaving alone. I'm telling you right now, these babies, you're going to get compliments on these. They are gorgeous. I am digging that heel, that leather stack and this leather sole slim profile and this olive suede just gorgeous all around really really digging that i uh i'm gonna put these uh, to the test for sure i'm gonna wear these and probably you know i'm gonna try and see how long if i put a full in eight, full eight hours in these walking a mile uh, how they will fit how my feet will feel um, as i do all my my boots um, but the initial uh, these are definitely on a dressier side than what um, some of the normal everyday boots that I wear um, but man very pleased with how they look and and how they feel on feet just stunning so for the sizing of these um, I size these the same as the uh, Pecos that I have. Um, I kind of got lucky. They have a, a sizing chart um, on the site and then you measure your foot. So I did that and I thought maybe I underestimated my size and um, I was kind of thinking these are gonna be too small, but they, in the end, thank goodness they fit. So they are the, how I size my Pecos, uh, Red Wing Pecos, which is the same size as my Red Wing Mach Toe. So um, I know it's all different last, but uh, Mach Toe size last 23, Pecos size, and this um, Roper boot, they're all the same size. So those of you wondering about that. All right, that is the Lucchese Lincoln Roper in Olive. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.